Hello guys and gals and welcome! Um, today I'm going to be playing an indie game. This is um, a game that I picked up from uh, one of our discords and uh, it's made by a guy named Selewi. S-E-L-E-W-I. Take a look at the credits here. So, Thomas. T-O-M-A-S. A little, little doodad above it. S-E-L-E-W-I. So I think it's Selewi. And um, it seems like a very fun dungeon crawler game. I already love the music, digging it. And uh, apparently it's a uh, procedurally generated dungeon crawler. Uh, it shouldn't take us very long unless we die. And uh, we're going to have some fun. He also makes uh, quite a few other little games. I have the links down in the description. You can actually download this game for free and uh, have some fun with it. Let's see here. Use thy race. Play as a human, plus four strength, dexterity, and intelligence. Orc, plus six strength, plus three dexterity, and plus three intelligence. Halfling, three strength, three six dexterity, and three intelligence. And then we have the elf, domains of the arcane arts of magic and spells. So it looks like we have here a standard human fighter. Uh, then we have a brute force orc. Uh, and then we have a halfling who it seems to be uh, good with bows. And then we seem to have a mage. Uh, I would assume that this is the mage anyway. So I have always been a melee character. And uh, I just love playing melee characters. So I guess we're going to pick the uh, the scraggly bearded human here. GGM. Actually, no, can we do our full name? Ginger. Gaming. Mano. GG. All right, so pretty standard um, dungeon crawler controls, very similar to um, another game that I played very recently, which is um, Legend of Grimrock 2. Dead end. I wonder if there's also secret butts like Legend of Grimrock 2. Dagger. Okay, now we got a main hand and an off hand. Nice, all right. I'll take it. Blood on the walls in here. Might be a booby trap. Booby. Oh yeah, I forgot to hop into chat so that I can uh, see what you guys are saying. <laughs> What's up, Star Wars? Oh, hold on, I think I'm on the wrong... Uh, no, I'm on the right one. Why can't I... Uh, here we go. I thought I would uh, take a, um, a short break from Diablo, since uh, I know that in the upcoming days, we are going to be... We're going to be playing a lot of Diablo. A lot. Um, and I've already been playing a lot of Diablo, so, you know, there's that. And uh, we're going to be playing even more Diablo because as soon as the alpha drops, so I'll just take a short break from Diablo because as soon as you know, as soon as that alpha drops, oh no, what are you? Bat, no, 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 bat, die, die, bat, die, no, 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 no. Don't be rude to me, bat. I'm back away and slice, back away and slice, back away and slice, back away and, sl oh no, I messed up, no, no. Turn the corner and slice. Oh, he turned the corner in advance. Look at that. Yeah, that's right, Pat. You ain't, you ain't no match for me, sir. Even though he almost killed me. I need some fuds. Or a potion or something. Some 
rock. Pick up that rock and throw it. Health potion restores 10 hit points. How much am I missing, though? I'm missing... 4 plus uh, 4, so 8. I'm missing 8. That's not bad. I'll drink it. Ow! Why are there so many bats? Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I haven't, actually. Somebody's stealing my GGM, huh, Star Wars? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, Star Wars, I know you're interested in, um, you know, Diablo. And uh, we do have a Diablo Discord, as well as I have my own, um, my own Discord, and I can get you an in I can get you an invite to my Discord. Uh, they haven't given me a link to the other one, but I can I can then invite you from there. Uh, Bio Kings, actually, he's in both, I think. Uh, here, let me just paste that in chat real quick. There you go. You can hop into the Discord, and I'll get you into the Diablo 2 Discord. Uh, you know, anybody who wants to hop into my Discord and chat about it, doesn't doesn't matter if it's Diablo, we can talk about tech, I can help you fix your computer, whatever it is. I just like to have fun chat. Alright, so we got, what is this over here, a dead end? I don't know if I can take many more bats now. Oh, here we go with the bats. Give me a sword or something if you're going to send all these bats my way. That's right, die. We ain't got time for you bats. Dead end. No, I'm not ready for the next level yet. I'm still a noob. What we got? Another dagger? Can I throw the daggers? I don't think I can... I don't think I can try hand. Try hand some daggers. You don't need a computer for Discord, Star Wars. You can do uh, Discord on your phone. Um, there is a uh, an app. You just download the app. You log in Discord on there. You can actually talk to people on Discord. You can hop in and talk to me while I'm playing. Alright. Which, you know, by the way, that'd be kind of cool. I'll hop into Discord real quick and I'll be in one of the voice chat channels. That way if anybody wants to hop in and say hi, I will be in there. I'm going to be in Atma's Bar and Grill. Alright. Alright, so I think there's one way we didn't explore. Right, it's this way, and then... Okay, that's a dead end. So no good there. No, we haven't gone this way yet. Okay. The doors seem to stay open, so I guess we can use that as a sort of... Like a... A way of learning. Ooh, armor. Oh no, not armor. Just, just clothes. I'll take it. Apparently, I'm naked. I'm the nakedest. Well, that looks like a wall that I can break down. Out of all the walls, like, see how sturdy these walls look? They look so nice and and clean and smooth. And and look at this wall over here. It just looks all cracked and. And, 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 and looks like I can smash it. I need a club or something. I need a club for smashing. Well, Star Wars, I am actually very good at computers. So, you know, if you, uh, you want to troubleshoot it with me, I will certainly look into it with you. I can, uh, you can give me the model number of the computer. I can, uh... I can figure out what's wrong with it. We can look and see how old the hard drive is, you know, just in general. Find out, um, what is that, a crate? There's a skeleton on the floor. Uh oh, there's something in the dark there. It's a spider! No! <laughs> ah, he 
Probably got poison. Look, spider. I ain't got time for you. Ow. You're so rude. How do I open up these boxes and crates? That's what I want to know. Unless I just can't. Can I just like... Right. Use a dagger on it. No, that doesn't do anything. I assume if I'd be able to, if I could pick it up, I would. But, you know, having an extra spider there, you know. <laughs> we are going to be doing some amazing things in Diablo 2 Star Wars. And once Diablo 2 Resurrected comes out, I fully expect to have groups running, you know, where, um, where we have multiple, you know, people running multiple things that are actually useful to the team. So one of my one of my goals, my personal goals, is to get a group together that actually is helping each other. And and what I mean by that is not just fighting together. That's not that's not what I mean. What I mean is is like you have a paladin running salvation aura. You know, you have a paladin running conviction. Um, you got a a barbarian running battle orders. You know, you've got um, you've got a good decent amount of you know things to really make your group you know, survive and, and viable. And, uh, you know, like, like one paladin can be running Cleansing Aura, which completely negates all poison damage. Uh, you know, and another sorceress could be running Enchant, giving everybody fire damage. You know, it's, uh... And then we could just, like, m just push through stuff like crazy. I'm a little bit worried right now, because there's monsters all over the place. And I don't really have a lot of hit points. Oh, great. Hello, bat. points at now. I've got my 5 of 15. By the way, I forgot to mention, when you, die, when you die in this game, you're dead. You're just dead. By the way, just super dead. Not just regular dead, but super dead. What? Requirements level 3? Don't worry, I've got uh, I've got 20 years of experience in the computer world, so you know that's 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 something that I'm good at. It's just I always, I always have been. I, I can help you, even if I uh, have to connect to the computer and and do the work myself. Oh Lord, all the bats in the world! Look here, bat. We ain't got time for all this brass taz. I'm glad I've been playing lots of. Uh, Legend of Grimrock, and I know how to do proper evasion in games like this. Whew. Otherwise, I'd be dead by now. Oh, look, a dead end. Open that door for nothing. I need a health potion. It's awful. Pretty sure I heard a spider, too. So, you know. Oh, hello, uh, 18th bat. I think I get my HP back when I level up, though, so maybe if I kill him, I'll get a level, and, uh... Ow! Frickin' Bitey. I'm gonna name you Bitey. Because you're so bitey. Why do you bats always want to bite people? It's rude. Most bats are supposed to be fruit bats. You're not supposed to be bitey bats. Um, once you download Discord, you just click on the link, and it has a little, it's a little join option, basically. And then once you're in there, I'll give you some, uh, some tags and stuff. I'll try and get you in on the Diablo 2 Discord, too. Man, I am almost dead. What am I looking at? I got two HP left. I don't even think I can take one more hit. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I can put points and stuff? I didn't know that.
Um. Well, dang. That probably would have been nice to know before I was uh, getting murdered by stuff. Let's go ahead and put my points into strength so I can beat the crap out of stuff. And I still can't use this because I'm not level 2. Oh, wow. Is, a bow? is that a bow? Oh, no, that's a bat. A dead bat looks like a bow. Oh, hello, bat. As if we didn't already have enough bats. I don't think I can take one more hit from this guy. Ooh. I took one hit. I now have one HP. What's my EXP? Am I close to leveling up? 380 out of 400. I think I am close to leveling up. But if I die, that's the end for me. This game's rough. Whew, okay. There we go. We got our HP back. We're not uh we're not dead. You can come talk to me, Star Wars, I don't care. I'm not that kind of streamer. Let's see. D2 Star Wars. I say, yeah, alright, I'm gonna throw you a mini uh a um, a menti tag. And you like Diablo, so I'm gonna throw you a Diablo tag as well. And uh there you go. You got a Diablo and a mini uh, no, and a mentee tag. And let me see if I can get you an invite to um D2 Star Wars. I'm gonna post this in uh the Diablo server. Invite for I gotta get this right because I think I don't think your name is D. Well, actually, it is D two Star Wars. What do you know? All right, I sent out the uh, the call to arms to get you an invite to the Diablo server as well. So. Uh, you should you should have one by Bayou King or Juked for Life in a few minutes here. All right, so let's try not to die by bats. A fire wand, four to eight magic damage, consumes four magic points per use. Requirements intelligence five. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to use that. I can use this. What do you mean I can't use the armor? There. Freaking million defense just to use one piece of armor. I don't need 18 dagger neither. Unless there's somebody to sell stuff. You know what? I got inventory space. Maybe there's somebody to sell stuff to. What does dexterity do though? It's for bows, I guess, right? Let's just put another point in strength. Why not? Bones. Hmm. So we got another bat over here. Come on, bat, let's go. I got a million more scranks now, and I know you're jealous. You're jealous of my scranks. Yeah, die on top of your brother, bat. There you go. Double batting. Hey, what's up, Valentino? Hey, you gonna join my Discord server, man? There's a, a, a link a little ways up uh, for my Discord server. You can come chat with me sometime, man. Be cool to hear, hear your Jamaican accent. I'm assuming you have one, you know, since you're from Jamaica and all. This is my man, Valentino. He shows up to, like, every one of my streams. I think he's been busy though recently. They got all this blood all over the wall. Lots of dead people. So that's the way up. We don't want to go up just yet because 
from my from what I'm understanding here is you know we want we want to get our levels we want to get our equipment whatever we can um, explore as much as we can in these levels make sure we're getting our our health potions you know maximum equipment basically although I think I might have explored everything in this one yeah I think I'm I think I'm done so let's go to let's go to the next level because I'm, I'm actually thinking in my head like where I've been and I can't think of any place on this map I haven't gone yet. Yes. I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie. Permadeath in this game is a little scary. Apparently when you die, you gotta start all the way over from the beginning. So. Robes. Hmm. I don't need no robes. I don't need your stinking robes. I'm a warrior. I got that leather armor. Okay. Got that hanging moss. It's all creepy. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, well, there's the next level. I definitely don't want to go there yet. Let's do a little bit more exploration. Ooh, I'm a little scared of a double passageway like this. Could be a monster on either side. Oh, hello, spider. Hello, sir. Hello, sir, spider. You come a little closer so I can whack you? I got club. I see you little creepy eyeballs in the darkness there. Don't think I ain't see you. Won't you come this way? No, no, come on. Yeah, there you go. Give you a nice little whack. Think I'm coming in there where you got all your little spider webs and your eggs and stuff? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're gonna fight right here at the door. Ow, you bit me! Freaking spiders. This is why nobody likes you, spiders. Why nobody likes you because you bite. If you weren't so bitey, people might like you. Everything wants to bite you in here. Freaking bitey biters. By the way, this game is free to download. Uh, the, the link is in the... Whoa! Hello, skeleton. The link is in the description if you want to download this game. Uh, Celloway also has uh, several other games, too. Ow, sir! Just because you have a sword doesn't mean you can be rude. Oh Lord, a bat too! Get on from me! We ain't got time for you, bat. All right, we ain't got time. Had to be a dang skeleton. Can I take your shield, Mr. Skeleton? That would be nice. No. Of course, Mr. Skeleton's weapons are completely non-lootable. He wouldn't even guard nothing good. Just a skeleton in a room. Could have let that door closed. Could have not. Could have not. Gotten eaten by a skeleton. What is that? A mega bat? It looks different than the regular bats. Okay, hold on. He's getting closer now. He looks look like a normal bat. Yes. I ain't got time, bat. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. Nope. Uh -oh. That's right, Dad. Exactly what you should be. A mana potion. We're running out of space. Ooh, a necklace of strength it is. Oh wait, the dexterity potion gives me defense. I mean, the dexterity necklace gives me defense, though. Ooh, yeah. I think I might keep the dexterity one on if that's giving me defense. All right, let's drop the dagger, the regular clothes, the robes. I don't need those. We don't really need this magic potion either, but... Um, hello, Mr. Skeleton. I already killed one of your brothers. So, you know, I already know you suck. And your weapons are not lootable.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ow! You're so rude. Yeah, that's what you get for being rude. Next time, think about what you do before you do it. Nobody likes a Rudy McRuderson from Rooting Town. That's why you got a club to the eyeball. Well, if you had an eyeball. The eye socket. Club to the eye socket. Alright, so we've explored this pretty well. We got a healing potion, so we're doing pretty good. We just gotta make sure we don't die. Uh, I think this was a dead end. Yeah, this was a dead end. I haven't found any secret chambers yet. So we shall see. This is a pretty cool little game, and it's free. I'm not even lying, this game's cool. Legend of, uh, it reminds me of Legend of Grimrock a lot. Except it's uh, one person instead of uh, four. In Legend of Grimrock, you have four people. I actually played that game all the way through if you guys are interested in watching that. That's up on my uh, on my channel. But this game... I don't know, it's just really cool. Alright, so we need to find that door again. I believe we have cleared this area. Uh, where was it? It wasn't in here. It wasn't in the spider room. Bitey McBiters and Spider. Nah, here it is. Alright, moving on to the next level. Well, dang, we're greeted with uh, robes. And a health potion right off the bat. I guess just in case we uh, we missed them. I guess if you got to level 4 and you didn't at least have some robes, you'd be in pretty bad shape, wouldn't you? I'm hearing a spider right off the bat here. I don't like it. These spiders are mean. Oh, hello, bat. You know, you're 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 uh, you're a low class now. You know, I'm a, I'm already like level almost level four. What you gonna do to me? I got strength amulets and leather armors and stuff. You ain't got nothing on me, sir. Go on. You better team up with a skeleton or something. Ooh, I like that. That's cool looking. Got the little beady spider eyes in the wall. I like that. I like that a lot. Got the swords and the shield on the wall there. Alright, so nothing back. We gotta go forward. Doesn't look like there's any monsters in here. And... You know what? Let's check this room first. I have a feeling. Nothing. By the way, I was told that this game is procedurally generated, which means that uh, it's gonna be different for each person. So you won't have the same map that I've got. Maybe not even the same monsters. Who knows? Ow! I feel like that was just rude. I need to use my health potion soon. Unless I level up. Oh, sweet. I did level up. Nice. Alright, so now I've got another point in uh, to put in. i got two skill points. You know... Now that I... Oh, shoot. You sneaking up on me like that while I'm putting in my skill points. What is this? I died like this in Diablo the other day, too. I was putting in skill points and Bale killed me. See, if I was playing hardcore, that would have been the end of me. Ow. Alright. Skeleton down. Scary tons. All the scary tons. I should be able to create invites. Hmm. 
thuốc Oh, I can invite people. People on my friends list. Interesting. Let me see if I can add uh, Star Wars to my friends list. Add to list. Star Wars invite. Better not be dying while I'm not paying attention. Here we go in uh, D2 Star Wars. You should have an invite um, to the uh, Diablo 2 Discord. So uh, hop in there and uh, and have a chat. We got a lot of people who love Diablo. I'm sure you'll find somebody who uh, you can get along with. Probably not Wisp. D2 Star Wars in there. Playmo fan. Well, hello, Playmo fan. First time seeing you in stream, buddy. Nice. Always nice to see a new face. Wooden staff. 1 to 6 melee damage. Normal attack speed. It's more damage than my stupid weapon I got on right now. Mine's only 1 to 3. But I can't use it because I need intelligence. Great, I'm too stupid. I'm too stupid to wield a wooden staff. I hope y'all are happy that I'm too stupid to wield a wooden staff. You know what? I think I'm going to put uh, another point to Dex since Dex gives me defense. And then I can take off the uh, dexterity necklace, put on the strength necklace. Oh, especially on the D2R forums. Yes, I have been on the Diablo 2 Resurrected forums quite a bit. Although not recently. Not recently. I, uh, I actually got banned on there, believe it or not. Not like a permanent ban or anything. It was like a... It was like a... A, a two-day... Two-day ban or something. Or two-day, like, temp ban. And uh, it was because... I got into this conversation with this guy on there about, um, it was, it was just the weirdest conversation, and maybe you guys will actually find this interesting. You know, he was he was telling me all about how he, uh, he never played online with other people because he felt like the online community was garbage, and how they were all, like, little four-year-olds who were, like, yelling penis in chat, and, uh, and he didn't want to, he didn't want to actually even try to, uh, to play with anybody because he felt like... The community was garbage so he only played offline and he only played like sometimes with his friends and um so i started talking to him and i'm like i'm like that's really weird you didn't even give it a try you know log in and, and play like eight man diablo 2 that would have been really fun it's like eight man diablo 2 you know back in the day was really cool and uh and then he started on this whole like rant about how he doesn't play uh like pub games in in Warcraft either because apparently he plays Warcraft you know World of Warcraft and he'll never join a game with anybody who's random and like it was just really weird and uh, apparently he reported me for harassing him and all I was doing was talking with him about like his weird choices there and you know, I was even dis I was I even felt kind of bad for him because I'm like I'm like man, you like you're never gonna get a chance to play eight player Diablo two again like back in the old days. You know, Diablo two Lord of Destruction is gone, and the community that the amazing community that was there was back then is also gone. So you know, you're not you're not gonna have that really awesome chance of going into eight man Diablo two Lord of Destruction game and 
and you know teaming up with a paladin a barbarian an amazon a sorceress a druid and having a full group of monsters you know Oh, there's something big in here. Why, well, I'm a little stir. I got several health potions, so let me just take some hits. So as you can see, tanking the hits is a, it takes a lot out of you, as opposed to just simply backing away. I don't know. I had to I had to distance myself from the D two R forums because the Diablo two resurrected forums are just filled with people from like Diablo three, and all they want to do is change every aspect of the game so that it's like Diablo three and. I can't stand Diablo 3. Like, I. So, I'm one of those people who I actually. I was actually really excited when Diablo 3 came out. Um, I got Diablo 3 when it first came out, back when they had the real money trade auctions. And, um, you know, I had a lot of fun, you know, getting used to, to trying to play a new game. And uh, me and my brother, we bought the game together because me and my brother started Diablo 2 together as well. So, it was, it was kind of like a. Um, you know, a, 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 it was going to happen. You know, we wanted to play together. We did. And we were kind of both disappointed in Diablo 2 when it first came out. Um, and then, you know, uh, Diablo 3, sorry, Diablo 3 when it first came out. And Diablo 3 was not the best game when it first came out. It really wasn't. Um, like, what it is now compared to what it was when it first launched is uh, is just silly uh, by comparison. So, you know, and then, then they, they fixed it. They, they added that Herodric Cube. They did a whole bunch of other stuff to Diablo 3. And they made it more more fun. Um, I would definitely say that that Herodric Cube uh, edition was probably my favorite, my personal favorite. And um, you know that was a really cool edition uh, because it brought a lot of um, you know like customizability to the game, which I don't think was otherwise there. But there's so much wrong about Diablo Three. Um, and I just, I, I really can't, uh, <coughs> I really can't, like, put myself in a situation where I would say that Diablo 3 is objectively, like, the best game. And, and let me go over the reasons why, because I'm not, I'm not just going to say, that game is trash, nobody should play Diablo 3, you know, you know, play it. Diablo 3 is kind of fun, alright? But, it's not amazing. It's not Diablo 2, Diablo 2 is better. And uh, the reasons are, are very simple. All right, they went with this um, this uh, a loot system which was personalized, and the personalized loot system creates this this sort of dichotomy between the players. So so instead of the players relying on each other and uh, and trading and trying to find good gear, instead what the players are doing is they're just all out for themselves. So you can literally gear up your character to full in a short period of time on Diablo 3, uh, now anyway. Um, so, you know, they took away the, the real money trade auction house. They took away the ability to trade between players. They made it so that all the items are only yours. They even personalized the loot. So, like... Hey, what's up, Alfonso? Um, it's, all nice, it's always nice to see you here, Alfonso. Uh... So, you know, they, they basically made it so your loot is even personalized. So, like, if you're on a necromancer, your necromancer is intelligence, and you find a really awesome crusader shield. Well, too bad, because your crusader shield now has uh, intelligence as its main statistic, which is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, I could, I could kind of understand when you find a unique that's usable by all characters, but when you find a, a unique that's only usable by a Crusader, why is that Crusader still, shield still customized for, for the Necromancer? Why is something as simple as that still broken in that game? And then, um... The rifts and, and the increasing difficulty settings. So I'm going to talk about for a second on the rifts and the increasing difficulty settings. Uh, have you guys ever played 
a clicker game, right? So it's it's there there actually there's actually a whole genre of games called clickers, and you basically just click, right? And you're every time you click, you deal damage, and as you kill monsters, you gain more damage, and you you know you kill higher level monsters and those higher level monsters level you up and you put points in and you get more damage and so forth and so on but it's it's literally all revolves around you clicking your mouse right and uh, there's no end to these games so there's no like end game there's just a constant never ending stream of every time i level up there's a harder monster to kill and every time i level up there's a harder monster to kill and every time i level up there's a harder monster to kill and the the increasing difficulties in Diablo 3 reminded me so much of a clicker game. Like, it was so easy to gear up your character, and it was so easy to make your character deal massive amounts of damage that I felt like I was playing a mouse clicker. Like, at some point or another, I was like, why am I continuing up this line of never-ending damage increments when all I'm doing is going to the next difficulty setting where the monsters are a tiny bit harder and then I have to do it all over again, and again, and again, and again. You know, in most games, you, there is a point at which your character becomes, you know, overpowered, or as powerful as he can ever possibly be. But in Diablo 3, they decided to go, oh, well, well, no, there's always going to be a higher, dif you know, higher difficulty. There's always going to be a higher, um, you know, higher damage that you can get to. You know, if you find that one special perfect item and you tag it onto your other perfect items you know and and we're going to come out with new sets that increase the damage even more so that you can continue up this never-ending ladder of i can click my mouse and do more damage than the next guy and and it didn't and, and it, eventually it just kind of felt like i was just playing a mouse clicker game instead of a diablo game actually i haven't gone this way yet Ooh, what is that? That's new. Ooh! No, 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 no! Fireballs. No thank you, m sir or ma'am. The hell are you? A lizard? Are you Mork? Mork! Yes, I have played Boulder's Gate. I have played Boulder's Gate 2. I have played Boulder's Gate 3. Well, is it Boulder's Gate 3? Or is it, did they rename it something else? I played Icewind Dale, Icewind Dale 2. I have played um, just about every one of those old school games. Uh, I have the Beholder. Um, the uh, Neverwinter Night series. Absolutely love the Neverwinter Night series. Uh, I actually contemplated playing those games on here because, uh, you know, it's it, they're fun games, but they they're so long though. Like I don't know if anybody would want to actually sit down and watch me play an entire playthrough of Baldur's Gate. You know, it, it, that game probably takes several days to beat, and and that's talking about like like full gaming sessions. You know, full full day gaming sessions to try and get there to the to the end of those games. But don't get me wrong, Baldur's Gate is an amazing game. I actually have them on the Nintendo Switch, believe it or not. Ow! With your punk fireball. Your fireball is easy to dodge. That's all I got to say. Maybe you should work on some faster casts. Right? Because until you get some faster casts, you ain't got no chance against me, son. You ain't got no chance against me. You need a, uh, you need a spectral shard, and you need a lidless wall. Alright? Maybe if you get a spectral shard to load this wall. There's a new one, but it's kind of expensive. Looks great. You're talking about the new Baldur's Gate? Yeah, the new Baldur's Gate I'm excited about. Um, I was actually following that when it came out. It's not being made by the same studio, of course, as the one that made um, you know, the original Baldur's Gate games. I don't like this. There's too many monsters. The um, I am excited about it, but there is some differences with the new Baldur's Gate game and this one. Or the old ones. So, uh, Baldur's Gate games are based off of Dungeons and Dragons rule sets. Um, so it's important to remember um, there are varying rule sets for Dungeons and Dragons, 
and those rule sets are um, are very very distinct. So the rule set that the original Dungeons and Dragons uh, Baldur's Gate version was made off of was like a 3.5, and 3.5 is an amazing rule set for um, for video games. Um, now they are actually running the new Baldur's Gate off of the newest rule set, which is which is less video game ish. I guess it would be a term. So it, you might not. I, I'm I'm holding my breath. You know, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be negative Nancy on this. I'm just kind of holding my breath a little bit. But um, I am a little worried though that it's gonna end up being not as good because it's not running off that same old rule set. So basically, it's running off the whatever the newest version of Dungeons and Dragons rule set is, and I can't remember the name of it, the the number. Even my nephew, when he heard about the game, he was super excited, and then when he found out it was running off of the uh, the newest Dungeons and Dragons rule set, he was a little bit disappointed. And he's he's big into to D and D. I'm not so much um, a D and Der, although I do love Dungeons and Dragons games like Baldur's Gate, Nicewind Dale, and whatnot. Another healing potion. I will take it. Yeah, but I have... Um, I was actually... What I was saying was is I have the Dungeons & Dragons games on my Nintendo Switch. I can't use it? What do you mean I can't use it? Seven dexterity. So I have six. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. That was terrible. Alright, well that's better than what I got now. I got a nice 2-4 to four melee damage sword. Sweet. Yeah, they came out with them all on the Nintendo Switch a while back. Um, not only uh, Dungeons & Dragons, uh, Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2, uh, Icewind Dale. They also have uh, Planescape Torment. And, um... What's the, uh, what's the other game? They were in little packs. And, like, each pack had, like, multiple games on them. And uh, I, I bought them all. And I haven't I haven't gone through them all yet. Um, the one I was really excited about was Neverwinter Nights because the uh, Nintendo Switch version of Neverwinter Nights has an online component, and Neverwinter Nights was always fun to play online. So I'm not going to be able to use any of these intelligence items. I might as well not even hold on to them. And I'll have to shoot myself in the foot later if I come across a vendor to sell things to. Ooh, he got some faster cast up. Another potion. I will take it. This game is pretty fun. Not gonna lie. This is a, this is a uh, a very neat little game, especially for a bit free. I'm pretty sure this game runs just about any computer, too. See, see what my frame rate is up there? I'm running at like 800 to 1,000 frame rate. So I'm pretty sure this game will play on anybody's PC. What is that? My wands? Yeah, that's my wands. Let me just explore that real quick so I have that on the, the map. My little mini map up there in the top left-hand corner. One to three. Oh, that's my club. <laughs> I just found my own club back. I'm an idiot. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's the door up. All right. So how far are we? Um. Ooh, bat. Right off the bat. Okay. Bat off the bat. Get it? Hey. <laughs> I feel like this bat is a higher level bat. 
Because I should be killing these bats easy now that I got a better sword and lots of strength and dexterity and whatnot. A battle scepter. Two to six. Slow attack speed. Strength seven. Intelligence four. I need... Oh, okay. I got four intelligence. That's better damage than what I got. But this one's fast and this one's slow. But you know, it might actually work to my advantage the way that I um, I kite things and I attack. I can uh, I can kite. We'll have to see how slow it is. It might be too slow. We know. Yeah, we never know. I swear in Diablo, there is... Like in Diablo 2, there's weapons that are so slow, you can't even swing them before a monster will interrupt your attack. It's awful. Okay, so this is the way I came from. Okay, let's go to the right. Let's explore this little area fully. Looks like a dead end. Oh, okay, we got a little room. A room with two dead ends. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's go this way then. Hello, Hemlo Sir. I would like to introduce you to my battle scepter. My lord and savior battle scepter. Does it feel good to be beaten by this battle scepter? Does it make you feel warm and toasty inside? Oh, hello, um, Skeleton. I would like to introduce you to my battle scepter also. Come this way, and I will show you the glory that is the battle scepter. That feel good? Nice and toasty? I bet you did. It's a little slow. It's not that slow though. It's like it's like just a fraction too slow for the um the kiting that I'm doing. So I'm, I end up getting hit. But I think the damage is worth it though. Well, I mean, I, th I think in the old days they just put a lot more heart and soul into the video games. You know, it was if I have to put it in, like, a, a, a nutshell, I think this is what it is. In the old days, they were limited by graphics. They were limited, you know, by their engine. And they had to tell their story in other ways. And they had to put their heart and soul into mechanics and, um, you know, uh, flavor text and, and their, their, gra their, you know, their cinematics. And I think that's what's, what's missing nowadays is a lot of developers are putting way too much attention on the... You know the graphics, and not enough attention onto the mechanics. Um, if a game put half as much attention onto the mechanics as a game like Diablo 2, it would be amazing. Uh, Baldur's Gate also has amazing detail to the mechanics. So you know you're talking about some some just amazing, uh, you know, depth of gameplay. Like there's things about Diablo 2 I'm still learning. I've been playing that game for like 20 years, and I didn't know, um, you know, until like about a year ago, that the summoning tree on a druid was affected by skill synergies so apparently like um you know in diablo 2 none of the skill synergies work with plus the skills however the summoning druid when he has plus the skills it actually does affect his summons so only his bear his wolf and his um and his uh dire wolves Yeah, die. You too. We ain't got time for you, bat. You didn't pay enough coin tokens into the arcade oh. machine. And then on top of that, instead of trying to, you know, be unique and create their own game, a lot of developers are just simply trying to reinvent the wheel. I mean, take games like Torchlight, or Path of Exile, or um, Grim Dawn. You know, they're obviously trying to copy the Diablo 2 formula. So instead of trying to come up with their own formula, they're just trying to copy someone else's. That's why I really enjoy games like uh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is a very amazing game. Uh, I, I believe that they have really taken the metroidvania sort of formula and really made it their own you know they put so much in, uh 
into the the mechanics of the game and the story that you hardly even notice you know that the graphics are still you know pixelated well not not like pixelated but they're not like the, you know Hollow Knight isn't the most amazing graphics in the world you know it's a it's a platformer it's a it's like a 2D platformer at that and uh, you know it, but it's but it has an amazing uh, depth of gameplay that a lot of other games are just missing these days Look at all my freaking health potions. Might as well use one. Okay. Looks like we found the way up. A mana potion that we don't really need. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, throw it away or anything. Another key. Dead end. Hmm. So you all excited about Diablo 2 Resurrected coming out though? Like, I feel like uh, it really is a resurrection. Like, I think we're gonna see this this game get it like almost like a fresh new start, so to speak. As if it were brand new. There are so many people out there who weren't even born when this game came out. Who who will be playing Diablo 2 Resurrected when it finally does come out. And it's going to have such a, um, a huge calling of players. You know, from the old days and from the new ones. It's going to be a lot of fun. What we got? Another leather armor. So if we didn't find the original one... They had a they had a backup just in case. Okay, well, I mean, I don't really need it, and I don't really need this mana potion, but I guess I'll hold on to the mana potion for now. Until I find something better. Another dead hand. I want to try and kill all the monsters in each level because, uh, you know, it's, it's EXP. It's just like Diablo 2, except the only the difference between Diablo 2 and this game is that you know Diablo 2 has a infinite supply of monsters so you can level up your character at will whereas games like this usually have a finite um, amount of monsters and you have to actually you have to kill them all if you want to get to the max level so skipping monsters in particular areas or levels um, is only going to hurt you in the long run because when you get to the end boss and you're not you know the level that uh, the developer intended you to be for killing all the monsters you're going to be at a disadvantage. Alfonso said, Hell yeah, I don't know how I will... How will be Diablo 4. I hope it's worth it. Diablo 4, I'm not super hyped about. Like, I'm not, I'm not looking super forward to it or anything. I mean, when it comes out, I'll probably give it a try. But, um... It's not like a, uh, a priority of mine or anything. So I think I have explored the entire thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and hop over to the next area. Oh, we got some new graphics. We got a we got like a stone with like little skulls at the bottom. Little skull piles on the ground. What is that? I'm scared. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It might be a bad thing. And then I go and touch it and I explode. What you do? Oh Lord! See? See? How did I know it was a bad thing? I shouldn't have touched it. He did a freaking whirlwind attack. Ow! Okay, okay. I think I got a uh, rhythm down here. So he does his little whirlwind attack, spin to win. He's a spin to win barbarian, all right, but he runs out of mana. Okay, and when he runs out of mana, we got to charge him. Ow! It's 
Spin to win, Barbarian. I got your number, Spin to win. Mm -mm. You should have upped your uh, you should have upped your uh, run speed. That's what you should have done. And then you've been able to, to, to hit more attacks. But no. Going for me, spin to win, Barb. We ain't got time. Good, good, good. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. That's it, just it. Just hit him high. Don't hit him low, just hit him high. Right in the face. Dang it. No! I didn't see where he stopped. I gotta keep an eye on him. I can't be too far away or I won't be able to get the hit in. Don't you spin to win me, boy! You gotta be getting dizzy. Exactly. I'm assuming he has the key. Look here, spin to win, Barb. Just because you got Whirlwind don't mean you the best in the world. I know all about Whirlwind. I PvP. Good thing I got my evasion down. How many more hits I need to kill you, sir? That's what I need to know. Forgot to put in my strength points. Uh-huh, what do you think of that, sir? That make you feel warm and toasty inside? How about you don't do that, no. Gone, gone from me, sir. Maybe if you weren't a one-trick pony. One-trick pony, sir. One-trick... Well, one-trick one demon. I can see your bones, too, by the way. You might want to eat some more. You don't need to go on that Atkins diet until your bones show. That's right. Honk. This is going to take me a while. Ow! Sweet! Congratulations, you have defeated the Skeleton King, Mork. Now the world is in peace once again, and your quest is complete, hero. Do you wish to finish your journey, or would you prefer to adventure deeper into the lair? Who knows what treasures lie below? Ooh, tre extra treasures. I like extra treasures. Extra treasures! Little skull in the wall. I like it. Let's go. What did he give me anyway? I got the... Uh, I didn't even, did I not click on? Oh, there was the key. That's right, the key. I thought it was a piece of equipment. Alright, spin to win, Barbarian. We ain't got time, Skeletons. We ain't got time. I just I just defeated the Skeleton King, boy. Who, who are you? You're just a regular Skeleton. You're not even the Skeleton King. You ain't got Whirlwind. You ain't got no spin to win. Back off. What's that? 
Plus one to strength, plus one to dex, and plus one to intelligence amulet. Ooh. Let's got all the pluses. I like all the pluses. I don't need these stinky dang things no more. Your magicka points have increased. Look here, Mr. Rude. You're the first mage to have hit me in a long time. I feel like your uh, AI is increasing. You got some crazy eyes on you there, buddy. Lord, it's a trap! I barely beat out that fireball, too. I think we're just gonna have to tank this one. Ooh. And they want nothing back here. It's a dead end. What is this? Magical points have increased again. I want some health points. I ain't a mage. Man, you still hit me anyway. That's right, die. We ain't got time for you. Trying to explore the dungeon. Another mana potion. We don't need none of these. Not a single one. What do I look like? Some sort of magician? You want me to pull a rabbit out of a hat? I want to find another boss. That boss was cool. Freaking whirlwind barb. Another mana potion. You know, we don't need any of these mana potions. Oh, hello there, sir. Hello, Mr. Scalverton. I killed your boss. I hope you know. Do you have any aspirations to becoming the new Skeleton King? I heard they're hiring. Must be really bony. And uh, possess whirlwind. Play Insurgency. Insurgency. Well, isn't that a um, first-person shooter? Insurgency. I'm actually pretty good at first-person shooters. Well, I used to be anyway. I'm a little bit rusty. I used to play Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike Source, uh, Team Fortress, Team Fortress 2. Um, a little bit of Overwatch. That's kind of fun, too. Although it's a little less first-person shooter and more... Um, I don't know what how I to describe it. Oh, here comes the singing singing cat. All right, we got one health potion left. We are currently close to leveling, so we won't use it. We've got a bunch of dead ends, just dead ends for days. Wish there was a way I could look at the whole map. Be a lot easier to figure out where I need to go. I haven't been this way, apparently. Okay, that's the way up. What's that? An Arbalest. Normal attack speed. Requires 4 strength, four, level 4, 6 strength, and 11 dexterity. Thank you. I'll take it. Now I have a bow and a scepter. Freaking Arbalest, man. That's in uh, Diablo as well. The Arbalest. Huge bow. Try out my bow on you, sir. What are you thinking of? Does that feel good? Does it make you feel toasty? Mmm, toasty. I 
Got these orbs all over the place. Is that like increasing my maximum mana? Dude, this game is this game is freaking amazing for free. So the way I could sell this on uh, the Steam store for like uh, like five bucks. I think you could sell this for five bucks. It's a, it's a little five. That's a good. It's a good little five dollar game. What do y'all think? All right. We go this way. No, we didn't go this way yet. All right. I'm having fun exploring these dungeons too. They're pretty cool. Of course, you know, there's a lot of dead ends. I feel like uh, it could use some more, it's like, secrets. And I would really like to be able to break those barrels, but I can't. Sadness. Hmm. Oh, hello, sir. Would you like to meet my lord and savior, Arbalest? Ah, you did not like my Arbalest. That's okay. You don't have to like him. Ooh, chainmail, yes. Boo yeah. I got me that seven defense chainmail now, suckers. Always love me some chainmail. Alright, so I think we've pretty much explored this area and we did find the doorway up. If I can remember where it was. Was it like it was like over here or something ish? Nope, that's dead end. Is it this one? Also dead end. No. Let me through. Alfonso, are you gonna join my Discord, man? You gotta you gotta hop in my Discord so we can chat and stuff. I'm trying to get all my uh, all my regulars in there so we can have fun together. Oh lord. Come on, bat. I hope I don't find a beholder. Good lord. I don't think I'm ready for all that now. I'll go and post the uh, link to my Discord in here one more time. You guys can come in and chat with me. You know, when I'm not playing live. Plus, you can tell me what you want me to play. It's always fun to get game it's like suggestions. Well, hello, sir. This is a whole game changer now. I got an Arbalest. Mm-hmm. I heard a bat. Sounds like he's coming from in here. Oh, hello, bat. <laughs> he's at the door just waiting. He's like, open up. I want to suck your blood. Hey, what's up, Expert Gaming? Good to see you again. Arn. Arn Magnuson? The Little Knight. Okay, you're already in here then. Look at you. What you been playing lately, Expert Gaming? Go ahead and plug your stuff. I know you've been playing something on your channel. Um, I do have an Instagram, actually, but it's for uh, Corey the Ankle Breaker. So uh, if you guys are unaware from any of my other videos, um, I get my the little girl that lives with me here. Uh, my my uh, girlfriend's daughter. Uh, she has a little little uh, little best friend, and his name is Corey the Ankle Breaker. And Corey the Ankle Breaker uh, has his own Instagram. Believe it or not. Uh, 
Corey the Ankle Breaker. Instagram. There we go. You guys can have fun looking at Corey the Ankle Breaker on uh, on Instagram. Yeah, where's my where, where? There it is. Corey will break your ankle. All right, so don't don't uh, don't be rude to him. Seems to be having a little bit of lag on my stream. I can't really fix it right now anyway, so it's about 26% rendering lag. I'll have to fix that later. I wonder what the hell is causing the lag though. Maybe it's my uh, antivirus program messing with things. I'll exit out some of these apps too, just in case. It could also because there be because there's no frame cap on this game. I'm literally running 1,214 frames. Um, I actually remember uh, when Diablo 3 first came out, it had no rendering cap, and I don't know why they decided to do that, but it was awful. It was an awful idea, and uh, basically it would just run your computer into the dirt. So it didn't matter how good your computer was. It didn't matter what your your stats your video card was you know anything like that because the game the, the game would literally just take whatever you had and just push it to the max and you would be running like 300 frames in Diablo 3 if that's what it could get out of your computer and uh, I remember like my computer would just be overheating all the time and uh, they eventually added a frame cap so you could cap the frame rate and I capped mine at like 144 frames because that was um, I have a 144 hertz monitor, so I wanted I wanted at least 144 frames. But man, it would it would just take your your video card and it would just burn it like with a flamethrower. Are you waiting on a capture card? Which capture card are you getting, expert gamer? You getting a uh, an Elgato? You getting an internal or you getting the external one? don't need because we got chain mail boys we part of the chain mail gang now look here sir ain't got time for all that all right I think we have explored this entire dungeon so we're gonna move on to the next level oh wait we haven't gone in here Dang, this, this, uh, ooh, okay. Helm blows. Yeah, get within range of my scepter. Come on. Oh, you just, you, oh, you double teaming me. Alright. I see how it is. That's okay. I ain't got no sympathy. Wait till I stick this scepter and put it in your face. Mm-hmm. See? And that's what you get for being rude. on a budget trust me I know how you feel man I don't make no money off this YouTube thing I can't I can't make a single dollar like a single penny unless I get a thousand subscribers y'all wanna help me get a thousand subscribers share share me up boys share me up I actually have the uh, the, the prerequisite because uh, there's two there's two requirements for being a, a monetized YouTuber uh, one is the uh, watch hours. You have to have uh, over 4,000 watch hours within a certain period of time, which is which is a lot. Like if you think if you really think about it, you know, 4,000 hours. 
You divide that into, um, I wouldn't even say 24-hour days because nobody stays up 24 hours. Divide that into 12-hour days, right? So 4,000 divided by 12. You're talking about... 333 days of watch time. So, you, so, so we're talking about literally almost a year of people watching my channel. And I'm already well above 4,000 watch hours. I'm at something like 4,500 watch hours. But I only have like 500 and something subscribers. So I, you can't you can't uh, monetize until you have at least both on 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 plus watch hours. So yeah, I'll get there eventually. One day. One day. I'm not in a rush. Hmm. I already went this way. Um, what was I going to say, though? Oh, PayPal. Um, PayPal is one of the ways that I've been able to afford things. Uh, on PayPal, they have this... Um, you can apply for PayPal credit. And PayPal credit uh, gives you six months to a year, depending on how much you spend to pay off the, um, you know, the object. So like when I bought my Elgato capture card, I went ahead and I got the, uh, the good one and I was able to, um, you know, I was able to pay that off in payments, um, you know, over, over, you know, six months and I didn't have to pay any interest on it. Cause as long as I paid it off in the six months, I was good. Um, I think mainly they just do like a little service fee, like two or $3, which is, which honestly for the ability to, um, uh, buy something and pay it off in increments, was kind of nice. And I've done that for quite a few things, like the Logitech webcam that you're watching me on right now, the uh, Elgato capture card that I capture my Nintendo Switch on, the, um, I actually did my video card in payments too. I had a GTX 1080, I got that years ago. I am, where is the door? I literally saw the door earlier and now I can't find it. Okay, let's go... To the right. I keep getting myself turned around. There it is. Okay. Floor 10. Oof. Ugh. It just sounds like somebody pooped. I swear to cats are so gross. I'd say the cat pooped his pants, but cats don't wear pants, so. Another healing potion and an axe. Two to four melee damage. So mine is two to six. You are not better than my battle scepter. All right, but it's normal attack speed, though. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, nah. Nothing can you. I'm gonna drop the sword too. You know what? I'm gonna drop that dagger as well. I don't need that. I have more room for potions. Alfonso said my first game was Kirundria, an old game that is single player RPG, give you puzzles to complete scenarios. What, uh, what system was that on? PC? Man, I'm... Uh, there's... I feel like there's a second ending to this game. Because it's great to go this far and... And he's programmed in all these, um... These, you know, these variables. Because he didn't just... See, okay, so, uh, let me see if I can uh, uh, explain myself a little less retardedly than normal. So he programmed in things like the chainmail armor and the necklace of balance and you know the arbalest and all of those things were after the skeleton king. So obviously he had put some thought into this game after you defeated the skeleton king. So, you know, there's got to be some cool things in this game after the skeleton king. That's right, punk. Ooh, we got a shield? 
blocks for 1.5 seconds. What? All right, goes in my uh, in my. Oh, I had him backwards the entire time. This is my main hand. This is my off hand. All right. Well, I don't. I don't want to use the shield though, because I want. I don't. I want to use my arbalest. But I'll keep it. Maybe I'll come across somebody that I need to block for. Ah, Windows 95. Nice. I loved Windows 95. Um, I even remember back when we had... Um, we didn't have Windows 95 yet, but we had Windows 3.1. And we had this little program that we downloaded, and, and it made Windows 3.1 look like Windows 95. That was, that was pretty cool. It also made it function like Windows 95 too, so you could like open up the the windows the same way, and it was it was just really neat. Those were the days back then. Installing your operating system from floppy disks. Then speaking of this game, would probably be a really cool game on like Windows 95. I could totally have seen this being like a a game that you bought back in the day on 95, 98. I mean, of course, some of these graphics, like the guy's face, will probably would have had to been dumbed down a little bit. Um, but for the most part, I don't see this game having any trouble running on a Windows 95 platform. So we got some bats. I got so many healing potions. I feel like I could just tank him. Another axe that we don't need. Let's check this way. Oh, hello, sir. You just creeping up on people, huh? You just wanted them creepy skeletons. Didn't everybody tell you that people don't like creepy skeletons? Why don't you be the friendly skeleton? And this game has got some depth to it. Uh, I'll tell you what. I really like this game. This is, this, is a, this is a fun little distraction too, like because like, uh, I'm not tired of Diablo 2 or anything, but um, you know I understand that my people who have subscribed to my channel may have subscribed to my channel for more than just Diablo 2, obviously. So you know I wanted to play something else besides Diablo 2 for a little while. All right, I think we've explored this whole uh, floor, so let's move on to floor 11. Man, I wonder, is there like no end to this? Or is there an actual end? Or. I mean, how high can I go? I mean, we haven't encountered any new monsters yet. We've got still got the old uh, wizards, although he's throwing more at us. So we're getting more wizards, and we're getting more bats, we're getting more skeletons. Fire wand. No, thank you. Something in the corner over there. Robes. Magicka potion. Oh, hello, double skeletons. Ow, that was rude. Look at you pop it around the corner like you like you got some 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 guts. Let me show you them guts right on the floor. You're getting Fortnite on the Switch. You gonna you gonna stream it? Mm. 
Just a uh, small tip for Fortnite and streaming. I have I have streamed Fortnite a couple times, although uh, I think unsuccessfully. I wasn't very good at it. I'm not really good at the building part. Um, I don't know why. I'm not bad at building. It's I'm not good at the building part in Fortnite. Anyway, I digress. In Fortnite, there is a setting to disable all copyrighted music for streamers. So if you do plan on streaming Fortnite, um, go ahead and, and tick that box to disable the copyrighted music. That way you won't get uh, copyright flags on your videos. I don't think it disables all of the music. Like, there are some... I think uh, uh, musics that don't get disabled. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which ones, but most of them, most of them are disabled. All right, I'm I'm uh, I'm starting to wonder where the end is. Like, is this is just continuing forever? Now I'm on floor 12. We've got another book, sir. That's right, I leveled up. Mm-hmm. You did it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm going to put more decks and more strength. Maybe I'll find an even better bow. I'm hoping to find, like, a big mallet or something I could just smash stuff with. Like, ye old mallet of smashing. Or ye holy hand grenade. Thou must count to three, and then throweth thine hand grenade. Four is outright. Two is only acceptable if then thou proceedest to three. Once upon hitting three, then thou shalt throw thine holy hand grenade to smite thy foe. Hello, sir. I said hello, sir. Maybe you should stop shooting fireballs at people. And maybe they won't shoot arrows back at your face. You ever think about that? No, you never thought about that, did you? Never did. Only thing that occurs to you is shooting fireballs. And that's why nobody likes you. Okay, so we are... Okay, we haven't gone this way yet. No, no, okay. Energy potion. I'm still curious what those mana balls are for. I guess for mages to restore their mana so they can actually keep fighting. Because I'm assuming that once you run out of mana as a mage, you, uh, you're kind of screwed. So you'd have to be uh, pretty conservative in your attacks, making sure you're uh, finishing targets off, landing your hits. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ow. Worst kind of punks. Skelly punks. Yeah, well, there's our next level. Let's take a quick look around, see if we can find any other loots. We've got plenty of healing potions. Um, you know, what we really would be looking for is a better weapon or a better um, armor. Another wooden staff. Interesting.
pretty deep dungeon here. I guess I have infinite arrows. So I'm starting to think that maybe um, the items that I'm getting are procedurally generated. In other words, like I could have found any item. I just happened to find the items that I did. And every level has like a different chance of spawning those items. And so as I go forward, I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot of the same items over and over again. So what we're probably looking at is, um, you know, a, a continuation of that. All right. So I think we're done here. Wait, we haven't gone this way? No, we haven't gone this way. Another dead end. Also a dead end. Why hello, sir? You suck. Just wanted to let you know before you died. Can't let you go to, to the afterlife thinking you were a good mage. Nope, nope, sucky mage. Didn't get your faster cast. Didn't get your bluster skills. That's what happens. Alright. I think we went in a circle somehow. So I think it was this way. I'm looking for the door. That's a dead end. Alright, so the door was like right near here. Some air. There it is. Floor 13. Look at us on the unluckiest floor ever. Mana potion, don't need it. Na, 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 na. Might as well drink one of these health potions. I got so many. Ooh, a flail. Three to eight damage. Ooh. Yeah. And it's slow attack speed too. Sweet. Sorry, Battle Scepter. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Yes, I shall beat you with my flail, sir. Do you want to try me? Super dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Made you hit your teammate. Wow, look at that. PK. Player killing. I hope you're happy with yourself. That was your teammate. He was on your side. And you PK'd him. You're just rude. I want you to go to the afterlife knowing that you are rude. Rudy Rude, Mick Ruderson. From Rooting Town. Can't go to this door yet. Mm. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. I got some bow and arrow for you. Mm hmm. Hey, somebody sent me a message. Mm. Oh, it's Afton. It's one of my coworkers. I literally got home from a, a night shift 
got like two hours of sleep and she sent me like 18 messages. And I had no clue what she wanted. I still don't even know what she wanted. She just sent me a message saying she was sorry for waking me up, but I'm like, well, you could at least tell me what you wanted. All that in a bag of chips. Oh dang, two to four range damage bow. I don't think it's better than mine. I'm gonna whack you with this flail. Take a look. We got what we got. It's four to no, it's ours. It's four to eight. Ugh, get out of here, bow. We don't need you. Alright, so we've explored everywhere except for over here. <laughs> no, you got me. There's nothing over here. Just a, just a mage to murder. How about over here? Dead end? Alright. We're moving on to the next level. See, I'm, I'm really curious as to whether there's an end. I really want there to be an end. Another end. Second end. Like a congratulations, you got this far. End. Seems like a really large room. There's something in there. Oh, hello. That's a booby trap. I'm just gonna tank it. Got all these health potions. Might as well use them. I feel like it's getting progressively harder, though. beat this game. The game has, has sucked me in. Suck, it sucked me. I have been sucked. Ooh, plate mail! Oh, yes! Excellent. Do I have this? I need one point of strength. Okay, we will hold on to you, plate mail. Do not worry. My precious, precious plate mail. You know, uh, realistically, you're supposed to put your chain mail underneath your plate mail. So, you know. I should be able to boof up, you know. You're supposed to have, like, padded, right? You're supposed to put padded armor, and then underneath, on over top of your padded, you're supposed to have chain mail to block up, like, the holes in your plate mail, and then plate mail goes over top. So, you know, I should be able to wear leather plate mail and, uh, you know, chain mail all together and get super bonuses. By the way, if you ever are interested in real armor and, like, uh, real, um, you know, plate mail, chain mail, that sort of thing, you have to wear a gambeson. Um, so when you're when you're wearing armor, armor is there to sort of prevent the pointy bits and the sharp bits from dealing damage, um, but it doesn't prevent damage entirely. So what happens is, is when your chainmail or your plate mail or whatever it is stops the damage from coming in as a pointy bit or a slicey bit. Um, it converts the pointy and the slicey damage into what's called blunt damage. So it's like getting hit with a baseball bat. So it essentially prevents your your death, you know, from bleeding, but not your death from bludgeoning. Uh, so the purpose of a gambeson uh, is essentially a padded undercoat uh, that will absorb the impact of the bludgeoning, um, you know, that is being converted by your chainmail or plate mail. That way you're not getting, um, what, bo broken bones, you know, um, internal bleeding, that sort of thing. It would be caused by getting hit with a mace or, you know, something of that nature.
Which is why armor can be very hot. Sweet. Leveled up. Ah, yes. Beautiful, glorious strength so I can wear my plate mail. Yes, excellent. A god among men. With my trusty flail and my plate mail in hand, I am a warrior of all warriors. No mage shall stand before me. Nicholas of Dexterity. I don't need your saw. I guess I don't need the chainmail either anymore. Bye, chainmail. It was nice knowing you. I appreciate uh, all the defense that you gave me until I found plate mail and replaced you. Mwahaha. Ain't nothing in here, is there? Nope, whole lot of empty. Alright, so let's go, uh, the door was back here, let's go to the next level, move on. I want to see if we can get to the end of this. We are on floor 15. There's a bat behind me. Yep. Freaking bat ambush. Alright, so from this point on, I think we're going to go ahead and just take the doors whenever we find them. Um, you know, because I'm interested in seeing if we can get to the end here. And if we happen to find a locked door, then so be it. We'll have to find the key. But uh, we're going to uh, we're going to take the short path because I definitely want to see if I can get to the end of this game. Wooden stuff. Trying to see how much ESP they give me. I'm at eight thousand three hundred sixty. 8,440. Take it. Lightning wand. 13 intelligence required. I'm assuming that would be a nice high level uh, item for a wizard. <coughs> Dead end. Another lightning wand. The dual wield lightning wands. Well, like, you don't know me, son. Oh, hello, uh, skeleton. I thought I heard something behind me. Come from, sir. Okay, I've already been through both of these. I've been in this one. Ah, here we go. Level up door. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Let's do a quick check over here. See if there's any items laying on the ground. Potion. I remember where that door is so I don't get lost. Do 
trying to keep my back to it there. Looks like there's a little area over here. I know I said I was going to take the doors as soon as I found them, didn't I? And here I am still exploring. This game is making me want to explore. It's a very, uh, it's a very fun little game. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, floor 16. Who knew I was going to get to floor 16? And, I, and you know, obviously, uh, I haven't died. But if I had died, I'd have to start all the way over from the beginning. And at this point, if I die, well, yeah. Not starting over. Not gonna do it. My super warrior with his plate mail and his flail. Mm -mm. I ain't going back to square one. Ain't gonna make me. Well, I got one life to live. A woe hammer. Yo mo. Y'all about to get crushed. Suckers. See, I'm glad I searched a little bit there. Got me a woe hammer. Come here, buddy. Doom. Doom. <laughs> That's right. Ain't got time. Ow! Dead. D E D dead. Another Warhammer. I'm a dual wield warhammers. Let's go. Dual wield. Nah, it doesn't work that way. Wish it did. Wish it did. What's this? A stick. I think I saw the way up somewhere around here. What could be better than plate mail? Full plate mail? I think the door up. Well, yep, here it is. Or 17, suckers. I was talking to the developer of this game and he said it was like 30 to 40 minutes. Pretty sure I've been playing longer than 30 to 40 minutes. Get in for some melee action, boys. Ah, mana potion. Yuck. That's a dead end. Another dead end. Another stick. A flail. We already had one of those. Oh, a dagger. Ooh, yeah. Exactly what I need. Now, if it was a throwing dagger, maybe. Ching, 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 ching. Alright, we're going for it. Floor 18, y'all. 
floor friggin' 18. What's that? Another, oh, a lightning wand. No, come back here. I want to whack you with a stick with my maul. That's right. That's what you get. Stop shooting fireballs, people. Well, that's a super dead end room. But I can actually see that it's a dead end without having to walk all the way into it. Like this one. Another battle scepter. Don't need one of them. Sorry, has got some war hammer. How'd you like that Warhammer to your face, son? Oops, I <laughs> walked into his fireball. My bad. Oh, there it is. Let's see how you like a Warhammer. Does that feel good? Feel nice and warm and toasty in the in the in the nether regions of your bones. Ooh, another arbalest. Too bad I don't need one. But a sweet bow on the lease. If this was Diablo, I would hold on to that and give it to another character. I'd be like, look, this is your arbalest. Hold on to it for it will save your life. Hey, Mr. Skeleton creeping behind the doorways. I ain't, that's rude. You'll get a Warhammer to your neck. Just for that. Right to your neck hole. Your spinal, your spinal column. Bang, some chain mail. I don't need that though. We get that baby bye bye bye. Well, dang, a wooden club. <laughs> dang. Freaking rude skeleton. Right, let's get some more points of strength. What level are we now? Level 11? What about level we go up to? I can't, I don't want to turn off the game now. Because then I'll lose my progress. My, my pro, my program, my progressions. Battle Scepter. Another Healy Potion. I'll take it. Where is the doorway? We need that. We need the doorway up. I feel like we missed something somewhere. Maybe. It's a dead end. Nothing that way. Ah, yes we did. We missed something over here. Well, hello, Mr. Skeleton. You're in the way of my door. I'm going to introduce you to my lord and savior, Warhammer. <coughs> Level 20. Level freaking 20. Oops. 
Bye-bye. The level design is getting cooler as well as we go up. Although, I'm not 100% sure that anything is really getting more difficult anymore. It's pretty much the same monsters over and over again. Oh, look. Next level. Let's go. I ain't even gonna hold my breath no more. We're gonna dive right into the next level every single time we see it from now on. Tank it. Tank it, tank it, tank. I got like crazy ass. Oh, is he dead? And he's, he's bugged. Oh, look, I found a bug. <laughs> I found a bug in your game. Sometimes when killing mages in the middle of an animation, they stay there floating even though they're dead. It's really creepy. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, this way covered. It's a doorway right here. You can see the doorways on the map. Bear, why are you kicking me? Bear. Bear. Can you please stop kicking? I'm gonna kick back. How about that? We're gonna get into the kicking bowl. Kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kick. He always lays on the couch and then starts kicking. These are like nothing to me anymore. Those skeletons. Can finish them off with ease. Only takes a couple hits of the Warhammer. And then I, that one took me four. Leather armor. Dead end. Okay. This was a dead end too. Well dang, where's the frickin' way up for level 22? What the hell? Oh, here's something right here. Two dead ends. Okay, so that's a no. Might as well explore the dead end so I can actually see that it's a dead end on the mini map. It's up here. Nothing, nothing. Alright, so we didn't go up this way. Yep, there's a door. Dick. Hmm. Man, this game. Like, I don't want to. I, I don't want to stop playing. And I also, um, but I also kind of feel like maybe I mean, I've hit the uh, the end, so to speak. Like, you know, the the whatever the the end would be. You know, just simply. Continuing, I guess that's what we're doing, is continuing past the, the end. And we're just having fun, but, um... I don't know. North. Sure, west. Okay, 
we already went this way, right? And then this was, um... Okay, we didn't go this way. Nope, there's the answer, the exit right there. Might as well take a quick look and see if there's any loot. There's a monster. Floor 22. Holy jeez. Screw you little bats, you'll never catch me. Oh wait, wait, dead end. Never mind, you might catch me. Well, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, dead end. <laughs> Running from you, cause I don't care about you, and I don't wanna kill you, cause I am looking for the exit. Don't care about you, I don't wanna fight you, you're a stupid skeleton. And you're rude. And you're rude. The rudest skeleton. The rudy, rudy, rudes. Move along. I don't care. Come away with your hair. Look, sir, Mr. Mr. Bat. You cornered me. You got me. Oh no. I'm dead. Bat's like, if I corner him, he won't be able to run. But little did he know that by cornering me, all he did was ensure his demise. <laughs> it's like an anime character. It's like, you will fight me. Oh, I haven't gone through this one. Dungeons are infinite. Infinite. Gotta sneeze. Wrinkling up my nose helps sometimes. Ow! Ah, it did not help. Look here, sir. I was in the middle of sneezing, and that is as rude. Death by sneeze. Put it on my gravestone. 
He died doing what he hated, sneezing. Well dang, there's the way I came down. I uh, went full circle. Okay. Must have missed something. Not one of these dead ends, though, that's for sure. Too bad the developer isn't here to let me know if I can get to, uh, is there, is there another boss? If there's another boss, I'm going to keep going, but... If there is not another boss, well, then why would I keep going? That's just it. Potions. The mana of the gods. He drank eight thousand mana potions. He has more mana than any mage in the existence of all mages. He does not know a single spell, nor does he have the intelligence to cast them. Lore twenty-three. I'm gonna stop at floor 25. If we don't find something, a boss or something by floor 25, I'm gonna stop. We got two more levels and then, then we're gonna end this. Three to six damage crossbow. That's less damage than what I got. Sucker. Y'all don't even know me. Well, we already got that. It is out way better than it. We got the Warhammer there. Hmm. I'm so confused. Like, I don't know why he would add all this ex all these extra items into the game. All these, you know, plate mails and chain mails and all these other things into the game. If he wasn't planning on, uh, you know, having a higher boss to fight. Or maybe he did and he just didn't have a chance to add the higher boss yet. Whoa! That's a whole lot right there. That's right, shoot your skeleton in the butt. You're a punk. I know that much. Well, dang. I'm level 12. You know what? Let's get smarter. A couple points in intelligence ain't gonna hurt nothing. Some intelligence. I can be a smart warrior, a, no, a noble warrior, one who has studied the the arts of Sung, uh, Sung Shu. Alright, we got one more level, and then we're going to kill this uh, kill this game. It's definitely a, been a fun game, that's for sure. I, I really honestly wish there were more bosses. You know what this game could really use? Like after you beat the game, you could do like a little boss rush mode, and you could fight the uh, like the whirlwind boss over and over again, or um, or any of the other bosses he might come up with. That'd be pretty cool. I could I could totally see this on uh, like Steam or something like that. Lord. I thought something was hitting me from behind, too. I 
What's up, Mark? Hey, well, I'm playing this uh, really cool free game by uh, a guy named Selawi. You can, uh, you can download it. The link is in the description of the video. And uh, it was just really fun to play. You might have some fun playing it. It's uh, it's not that long. You better beat it in one day. There's uh, there's four different classes though, so you could play it a couple times as different characters. Um, it's also permadeath too, Mark. So you know, if you die, that's the end. So you're gonna have to play. Uh, you're gonna have to play. You know, what's the term? Conservatively. You know, build your character tanky or whatever, and save your hit point. Your uh, hit point pool potions, HP potions. If you want to be a mage, you also got range classes. Beef up your stats. Oh, by the way, guys and gals, Mark is my nephew. Um, he's also in the, uh, the the Discord. So if you see him in there, um, he has the uh, the mini mentor tag, so he can he can. Uh, Give you uh, permissions to talk and stuff like that, and uh, add roles. All right, we're trying to get to level twenty-five. Okay, okay, there's level twenty-five. Let's take a quick look around. See if there's any treasure. Could always use an extra potion or something. Who knows? Maybe there's a boss waiting for me on level 25, and I just don't know it. Another arbalest. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna figure out level 25, and then uh, if there's nothing on level 25. Or rather, there's nothing on level 26 when we get to level 26. Okay, well, there's level 26. Well, that was fast. Well, geez. So, you know, I feel like uh, I need to go to level 27 because they gave me 26 for free. They're like, oh, there you go. Go ahead and take it. I'm like, yeah, you want to go to level 25? Oh, there, there you go. <coughs> I'm starting to run out of. Uh, well, potions and stuff, though. Whoa. Double mages. Something about this game that just makes me want to keep going, and I don't know what it is. I just I really want to just keep going, and I want to keep going. You got some heckin' Nini? No, I have a heckin' heckin' Nini. What's up, heckin' Nini? Everybody, uh, if you have not met Mr. Heckin' Nini before, this is Heckin' Nini. His name is Nimoy, but we call him Heckin' Nini. He's got tricks. Watch, he can do a little thing with his tail. He goes like this, and he goes. And he also likes to do the thing with the seal's nostrils. Can I show me a little nosers? A little nosers? No. Is that lost to the pimples, Mr. Nemois? So as a first off, the fluffy creature. And I guess a little, I guess a little cute tum tum. The most cute tum tums. He likes scratches. He definitely likes the scratches. He's like a little dog. What's up, little Nene? You passing a good boy today? Go back to your your uh, your your surrogate mama. Hmm. All right. I don't think we're gonna find anything. I think this game is once you've beaten the boss. I think that really is the end. I think they just let you go, keep going, which is pretty cool. Uh, the ability to keep going. And then he has the levels are procedurally generated, is what he said. So I'm assuming that none of these levels are actually planned out. Um, I do think it's rather odd, though, that he has all the equipment, you know, the gear and whatnot, laying out. 
you know, he's got plate mail and chain mail and all these other cool items that you can only find, you know, in these higher levels. Or maybe there is a chance you can find them in the lower levels and I just didn't. That could also be the case. Hmm. Well, here we go. There's the next level. So, again, doesn't look like anything, really. I mean, it's just the same procedurally generated levels. Hmm. I feel like if you added a couple more bosses in here... And, um, you know, maybe like every certain number of levels. And then, you know, maybe some more monsters too. A couple, a couple, you know, various monsters, like maybe some rats and some, and, uh, like one guy was, uh, something earlier at Eye of the Beholder or something like that. Man, this game could be, um, could be a fun little game. Hello, Mr. Bates. Bye. I just said, hello, Mr. Bat. Die. Uh-oh. Might have got myself in trouble here. This mage just hit me in the butt. Ow. Man, he certainly took advantage of that, didn't he? He ain't even, he ain't even bad an eyelash. Alright, well I think I'm going to end it here. This was a really fun game. And uh, if you want to pick it up, feel free to uh, go into the downloads there. Um, I have uh, in the description is the link to the page where you can download this game. And then on top of that, you know what, let me pull up um, the link here. Hold on. He also has several other games on there, which I might have to look at. You know, when you have some, uh, if you want to pick really it up, cool games, it's really interesting to try them out. So he has his own little page here. It's called https colon slash slash uh, celewi. So s e l e w i dot itch dot i o. And uh, if you go here, he has quite a few games. He's got a game called ASKE uh, brings the '90s shooters gore back to action. Uh, Rottenwood Lake, a retro PSX horror game. He has uh, Blood and Goods, a dungeon roguelike where you uh, where your your own wallet. I said I was going to bring this up, didn't I? And I, I didn't bring it up. Liar. A liar. There we go. Look at that. See, see, now, see, now I did it. I did it. Look, I did it. I did a thing. Uh, so here, here's uh, Mork's Trial. That's the one that I'm playing right now. And then we have AS. ASKE, it's also free. Um, Rottenwood Lake, we've got Blood and Goods, and then Wool Pit, a hardcore mosh pit full of sheep. Uh, Necro Reaper, a new horror has awakened. So, you know, we take a look at like ASKE going here, and he's got some screenshots. You know, it's got, um, looks like an old school sort of Doom, like a Quake sort of game. Looks pretty cool. And uh, you see, he's got the download link there. It's only like 54 megabytes, no big deal. And uh, we also got Rottenwood Lake. That one might be fun to play too. I love to see their... I love to see their shiny wet scales as they are reeled out of the water. This is almost too easy. I bet I can catch better fish in the center of the lake. I should get further away from the shore. Huh. A little skull there on his uh, on his boat. Looks pretty cool. And then blood and goods. Oh wow, this one you can actually play right on the browser.
and then uh, wool pit. And last, Necro Reaper. Interesting. It's like a 2D, sort of like side scroller. Almost reminds me of Legend of Zelda 2. Looks like he's got spells, uh, some sort of scythe attack. Um, obviously, he seems to collect souls. Hmm. You are the necromancer, an evil creature that feeds from people's souls to survive outside his lair. Harvest, fast-paced action. Hmm. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Bunch of little free games there. Um, as he said, he said, hey, my name is Thomas, also known as Celoe. 24-year-old imposter, programmer, designer, and half-artist from Argentina, developing my own indie video games for personal projects and freelances. I love cats in Norway. In my free time, I like to play guitar, skateboarding, and just playing slash making games. So pretty cool. Um, he's got his Twitter on here too, by the way. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this game. I might actually play a couple of his other games too. I um, they're very interesting. Orcs Trial. Sweet. Well, I'll see you another time.